Hey guys, Kelly here with the Salty Lake Mercantile in Kentucky. Welcome to episode three of a three-part series on painting your cabinet choosing why is I one hour enamel. If you did not catch episode one on prep or episode two on prime, you're going to want to go all the way back, watch through those, send us any messages. If you have any questions before you start painting, um, you can find us on Facebook under the Salty Lake Mercantile, on Instagram under the Salty Lake Mercantile, Pinterest, the Salty Lake Mercantile, and then of course at our website, www.thesaltylick.com. So if you have any questions before you get started, shoot us a message. But otherwise, we're going to talk about why is our one hour enamel. So I've already prepped and primed this cabinet. So why is our one hour enamel is great for a number of reasons, one of which is self-leveling. So once you put this paint down, you walk away. You don't have to worry about trying to smooth brush strokes, spread it out. You're going to want to paint and you're going to want to leave it because it will self-level. So it levels to a beautiful finish um, once it dries. On top of that, it has a built-in top coat. What that means to you is once you're finished painting, you're finished painting. You can rehang your, your cabinet doors. You can put your drawers back in. You can walk away. You're done. Um, lastly, here's the, here's the best part. It is 90% cure within a roughly an hour from your last coat of paint. That means that once again, you get to rehang those cabinet doors. You get to put those drawers back in and you're finished. You don't have to worry about it scratching. Um, you don't have to worry about anything else. You're done. On top of that, it is 100% cure within seven days. No other paint on the market can say that. So with that being said, let me show you a little bit of a learning curve. The paint is a little bit different, but I'm going to walk you through these steps and we're here for you if you have any questions whatsoever. So I'm going to tilt you down and we're going to get to painting. So this has already got two coats of gray primer on it. Um, of course, it's already been prepped. And the reason that I selected the gray primer is because I'm going to be using um, seeded eucalyptus. So you're going to want to go gray primer if you're going under blacks, reds, um, blues, greens sometimes, depending. Um, and then you're going to want to use white under your whites. Um, your really light colors, you're going to want to use white, like your really... Um, if it's lighter than the primer, you're probably going to want to go with the white. And then if you're going to want a distressed look, um, Wise Out also offers a clear primer. So you can use that, still paint, distress back to show the wood, but still know that you've got the, tan the tannin blocking, the stain blocking, adhesion, and to help smooth the paint. So I have my Klingon. This is actually an 035. Typically, I reach for my S50s and my S30s, which are the shorty handles. Um, the O35s, the R-Series, um, the F-Series, they all have much longer handles. Now, this is good for a couple reasons. It actually helps to balance the paintbrush in your hand. Um, but on top of that, if you have, if you're reaching back into a piece and trying to get the inside or corners, this gives you some extra stretch. So, with the Wise Out One Hour Enamel, you do not want to shake the paint. You want to stir it for a couple minutes and you want to pull from the bottom and make sure you incorporate it. And this is seeded eucalyptus. So you can see behind me, well, you probably can't, but in the intro, you could see the cabinet that I had finished and that's with one coat of paint. I'll pop back up and show you that here in just a second. So if you are working on a flat surface, you're going to want to paint just flat with the grain of the wood. So follow the marks that you did with your primer. Don't go crossways. You're going to see that. So on top of that, I'm going to show you a trick for when you're working on the actual bases of the cabinets and you're working on a vertical surface. Now, why is that one hour enamel? Works beautifully with your Klingon brushes. Um, really, you can use any high quality brush, but I'm going to tell you a Klingon is different. Um, and I can tell you that everybody that touches a Klingon only wants to use a Klingon. Load your paint pretty heavy. You're just going to want to tap it off the side. So I don't pull. I just tap to make sure I don't have any drips, but I want to leave that brush loaded. Then I'm going to start with my corners and my edges. And you're going to want to pull quickly and you're going to want to move. You don't want to keep pulling back over this paint. You can see I'm doing maybe one to two um, brush strokes at most. And the reason being, this paint starts to dry within minutes. 
That being said, you do not want to pull back over the paint because then you're going to pull paint up. So if you are working, like I said, on a flat surface, just pull straight across and move on. But let's say you're working on a vertical surface to help avoid drips and to help you keep from working back through, pull vertically or pull horizontally. One of these days I'll get that right. About four or five times, then brush through it and back up. Down and back up. And again, down and back up. And you're gonna wanna do this again and you're gonna wanna overlap it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you one more time. I've almost got this whole cabinet painted. Pull horizontally about three to four times. Pull down through the paint, back up. Down through the paint, back up. Same thing, all the way through and then walk away. Don't touch the paint again because the last thing that you wanna do is mess up the self-leveling or mess up the paint. And you can see the coverage on this, especially with the primer. The primer does help. Helps the paint go further and it helps with coverage. But the paint on this light color is phenomenal. Or the paint. <laughs> the coverage on this light color is phenomenal. And that's the case with all Wise Out paints. They are highly pigmented and they have great coverage. And this is a small kitchen that I'm working in. And my guess is... I will be able to do this whole kitchen easily with this one quart and have paint left over. So the thing that you do wanna watch for though, and you can see me kinda of hitting these corners, is drips. But that's okay. Let's say you do get a drip on your cabinet, leave it. Don't try to pull um, because once this starts to dry again, you'll pull and mess up the finish and the self-leveling. So remember, built-in top coat, it will start to rise to the surface. So we don't want to mess that up. We want a nice smooth finish. So let's say you do get a drip. The easiest way to take care of that is to grab a razor blade and just um, run that over the drip and shave it off. And once you do that, go back in with the paint and do a touch-up. Oh, I got a hair. I do not want that. You can see how quickly this paint is going on in part to the quality of the paint and in part to the Klingon brush. So this makes for a very quick job. And cabinet jobs are not quick, nor are they easy. So let's make it as painless as possible. So there you go. I am finished with this cabinet. I did see one spot I needed to clean up, but that's it. You're finished, you walk away. If you have good coverage, you can stick with one coat, but what I'm gonna tell you is generally you wanna do two coats, and that's to help with the self-leveling. The second coat is gonna give you a much smoother finish, um, but you're done, that's it. Walk away, let them dry, and then you rehang your cabinets. So again, let me show you real quick the finished result, and this is after one coat. Two coats of primer, one coat, and you can see that top coat. You can see how smooth, and these cabinets have a lot of wood grain but you can see that smooth finish. So again, I am Kelly with the Salty Lake Mercantile. There will be links attached so you can access the, or the products. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. If we're awake, we'll answer. And I hope you guys have a great day and happy painting.